Good afternoon guys. It's Tuesday, but I'm actually not going to upload a video today. So yeah, you will probably find that out on Instagram and on Twitter, but I'm currently making myself some coffee. This is the French Vanilla Nescafe, and I'm also eating. We made that yesterday. Got some of my honey, which I like to put two tablespoons, and also some organic vanilla um, milk. Organic vanilla almond milk, yeah. <laughs> and here's my dog, who's always trying to beg for some food. Huh? Huh? And I'm also watching Grey's Anatomy. Just finished taking a shower. I had to wash my hair because it was definitely not clean. It needed to be washed. Anyways, I'm actually folding clothes now. I am folding my baby's clothes and hanging them up. I've been doing a little bit of organizing like every few days. Um, I did a lot of laundry last week and then I started doing a little bit more this week just because I got a lot more clothes this time and this whole pile I swear everything is pink here is the pile of clothes with my dog who is getting needier and needier every single time and I'm sorry I'm losing breath because I'm actually really tired my feet has been swollen and it's just a big ordeal but this is the pile that I am folding. I think this is the last pile of clothes that I am going to be doing for a while before she gets here, obviously. This, all the stuff I need to put away. And I'm sorry, I'm losing my breath. Oh my god, I don't even know what's going on. But I feel winded right now. I seriously feel super winded. Just wanted to show you guys a little sneak peek of our closet. I actually reorganized it um, for the baby stuff. Her drawers used to be all the way in the corner inside but since the crib is actually kind of big it's hard for me to get the clothes from that side so i had to switch it to this side so here it is her bathtub is actually here but i don't think i'm going to leave it there when she starts taking baths it's probably going to stay in the washroom but these are my brother's clothes his clothes was already there and his underwear was already there as well but Here's a basket of her blankets. Here are all of her like sweaters and dresses and like kind of, yeah, like t-shirt, tunic type things here. And I organized it. I actually DIY'd these myself. I use cardboard and I just kind of traced the CD so it's not perfect, but it works. So I really don't care. It has zero to three months, three to six, six to 12, and then 12 plus. So I have a lot of that. And then down here, I'm actually going to, I don't know if I'm going to keep these two things in here. This is like her bed sheets and pillows. And then these are her burp cloths, bibs, and you know, things like that, which is not going to stay because I'm going to take this out and put it in a different drawer. But these are her clothes. So zero to three months here, three to six months, and six to 12 months. And I have a bin outside in the living room that has clothes that has not been washed yet, but they are 12 plus months. So I'm not gonna wash that for a while. But as you can see, these are clear drawers and they are filled to the top, guys. Like from all the clothes that I got from, you know, my mom, from my boyfriend's mom, even from like, a client and from like my boyfriend's aunt we actually got a lot of clothes from them um, because obviously you know if it's gently used and it's still good quality you might as well take it you know hand-me-downs I mean honestly I really don't care if they're hand-me-downs because kids clothes are really expensive but I have a lot of them here and it's already filled to the top like look at this you can see from up here it's all the way to the top and they're actually organized all in the same way so how I did it is I basically put all the long onesies in the back so these two will be long onesies there's the short onesies like the ones that cut off at the thigh and also short sleeve onesies and then I also have a few onesies over here and then the front is usually like pants and jeans and shorts and like t-shirt type things but since it's getting super packed i gotta figure out a way to organize it a little bit better and kind of make more space but the way that i'm doing it right now it's actually saving up a lot of space and then in the corners here even this corner and this corner and then this little corner here i'm actually going to buy a basket to put all of her little accessories so like 
there's shoes and flats and then these are like her underwear uh, diaper cover type things and then also there's like hats and things like that too so here's hats and then here's another diaper cover and i think this one's also a diaper cover too actually these are kind of like shorts but also diaper covers there's little accessories like that and then there's like flip-flops here um, a lot of the accessories are more up at the top here because there are socks and scratch mitts and hats and stuff because that's zero to three months but as she gets older she doesn't really need as much accessories so yeah these are her zero, uh, three to six months i labeled them just so it'd be easier for me but also easier for tyrone as well my boyfriend um so there's hats too for three to six months and a whole bunch of other cute little things what is this i think this is this is a tutu this is the cutest tutu in the world i got this from um tyrone's aunt she has a daughter but her daughter is like i think i don't even know like six or maybe younger than six I don't even know like maybe five or six i'm not sure but this is from baby gap and it's three to six months cutest little tutu thing ever got some bubble tea gonna watch some Grey's anatomy and then deal with some baby shower stuff and some bills that i have to pay for this week but that's what's happening right now can barely sit at the dining table without needing a soft support for my back because my back is killing me right now this last month has been hella torture and the symptoms that i've been having has increased by like 110 percent oh my god back pain for sure swollen feet and swollen ankles for sure tiredness for sure and feeling extra extra bloated for sure I shall end this vlog here just because I just, hmm, I'm full and I'm tired. So I'm just going to relax for the rest of the night. So I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog. I don't even know what the heck I vlogged today. But hopefully you guys enjoyed it anyway. This is the real deal of pregnancy. You think everything is fine and dandy. And all these pregnant women are glowing and happy. And yes, I am happy. But the symptoms do not make it a happy experience. So anyways, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Do whatever you're going to do. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Peace.